Good morning, everybody. I'm Deanna Sassetta. Thank you so much for joining us. 25 minutes after the hour, here are this morning's top stories. Governor Susana Martinez hopes to address the growing problems with Workforce Solutions. Today, she's expected to release her fix-it plan to help those trying to get their unemployment. Complaints about Workforce Solutions have been nonstop for a couple of years now. People trying to get through sit on hold for hours. Meanwhile, the department blames the jammed phone lines on seasonal unemployment. No charges will be filed against a driver who accidentally hit and killed a grandmother and her two-year-old granddaughter earlier this month in Roswell. The child was in a stroller when her mother and grandmother jaywalked across the street and into the path of a pickup that had just turned out of a parking lot. 66-year-old Prestina Grejada died at the scene. The little girl died a few days later at the hospital. Her mother wasn't hurt. Roswell police say it was a tragic accident and the driver simply didn't see them. New Mexico firefighters are monitoring a grass fire near Lovington. The Iron Draw fire kept crews busy last night. Winds of up to 36 miles an hour helped fuel the fire near Lovington. It scorched up to 600 acres before firefighters could get a handle on it. No homes were burned. Crews are still trying to figure out just what caused it. Another Albuquerque Public School Board candidate meeting will take place tonight. Candidates for District 1 and 2 will be on hand at the Ladera Golf Course Banquet Room at 6 this evening. They will answer questions from voters. The event is open to the public, and the school board election takes place on February 1st. Right now, a quick check on your weather. Here's Kristen Van Dyke. Good morning, Kristen. Good morning. Clear skies this morning. Tuesday morning, sky's mostly sunny and we'll see plenty of sunshine today. A few clouds will begin from the west, but overall it's going to be a beautiful day just on the chilly side. And it is cold out this morning. Temperatures below zero in some locations. Northern mountains looking at temps below the zero mark. Uh, three below up in Alamosa, nine in Taos right now, 24 in Albuquerque, and in the teens down in the southeastern part of the state. So for today, partly to mostly sunny skies. Next to service dives to the south tonight and in tomorrow where we can see light to maybe even moderate mountain accumulations. Uh, a snowfalls concern for uh, uh, as we head through tonight, tomorrow in the northeastern part of the state. That kicks on out of here. Then milder weather moves in for the latter half of the week. We'll be watching another system that will move in for Monday that could bring in some snow for the metro. So extended forecast just temps below normal in the mid 40s today and tomorrow back into the 50s. So as we head into Friday and into the weekend. Thank you, Kristen, and thank you for joining us. For continuous news and weather updates, log on to KRQE.com. Of course, we'll be back bright and early tomorrow morning, 5 a.m.